Welcome, one and all, to another extravagant episode of the Super Mega Cast. We we have worked hard specifically on this episode. Um, a lot of y'all have been saying Super Mega Cast sucks now. I don't even watch this shit anymore. Well, this is the episode we're put. We're pulling out all the big uh, guns. Uh, we're pulling out uh, literally. See, See the big guns. I've Matt's got it in holding my hand. a big gun right now, setting it on the table. Set that back down on the table. So. Uh, one of the things that makes this podcast special is that uh, it is with just Matt and I, and people love those types of episodes. Um, another thing cool about this episode, Matt is uh, sipping on some pussy. I'm but sipping on some pussy. We did all sip on some pussy uh, in a later episode, earlier episode. I don't know which, later episode? I think later episode. Later episode. This is coming out this coming week. I think so. So this is the first time... Anyone's had pussy on the podcast? Possibly, I'm not sure, but see, I've got this nice can of pussy right here. This is a uh, an inter- a European energy drink. Um, I don't like the taste that much. I'm not a big fan of the taste of pussy or the smell. No, it's uh the tasted smell of pussy is not good, and I'm I'm talking about the energy drink here. I'm yes, not making any uh any Although jokes here. There are on several occasions, you know, whether it's you know, maybe. They had been working out in the hot sun in a, in a pair of jeans or something. Yeah. You know, there's sometimes occasionally we're pussy. Uh, it's not the best. Yeah. Not you know? the energy drink. The, uh, the, um, the, the, the genitalia of puss, the oh, pussy. Oh, there, there's, there's, there's plenty of times, I'm sure, I'd, I'd much rather have a can of pussy in my face. Um, than, a, than a mound of pussy. Exactly. Is a, that what you a, ni- a mound of pussy. A nice mound yes. of pussy. I, yeah, sure. A mound of pussy. Okay. It's a good way to describe it. Uh, but how you been, buddy? I've been all right. Just uh, getting mentally collected for the holidays to go visit home, to see everyone, to make sure we have all this uh, content in ship shape ready to go. Uh, we we recently went to Big Bear, but that doesn't compare to going back and visiting Papa Bear McGee. Oh. Uh, so... I don't know. I'm excited to go home and visit it. It is. I'm very excited. It is a little bit of a. I think I've said this the the past few years where like everyone that I kind of knew in South Carolina has like moved away or they're like their lives are set up to where it, it's not. They're not in college anymore. Everyone has kids you know? now, man. We're, we're none of us are in college. It's been. It would have been for me. It would have been like five, five six. You, you could have gone through a whole nother college. Uh, yeah, I could have gotten my masters. Yeah. You could have, but I didn't. But to, they, you know, they all have jobs and they're busy now. So the holidays are a little more, and they're busy with their family on the holidays. So it's a little more quiet. I feel I would like to see a few people. I always like seeing, uh, uh, you know, Gray and Hayden. I'd like to see you. You should come down and hang out in Charleston. In for Charleston, a day. yeah. Well, uh, I have to visit my family first. I would have to come down to Charleston probably like the twenty seventh or something like That's that. That's fine 26, by me. Twenty seventh. How you leave when the twenty seventh or twenty? No. 29th. Oh, 29th. Oh, yeah, I got t- I got time for Mr. McGee. Okay. What well, we do? Hang out. Mama uh, Kim's. We could have Mama Kim's. Waffle House. We could have Waffle House. Okay. We could just do some uh, some old romping, you know? You know the boys and their in their old their old romping on the old stomping grounds, romping around. Could we test your dad to see how prepared he is for home intruders? Yes. 2 a.m., you and I with fake guns and ski masks. He conceal carries, I believe now. So, I don't know if Hey, okay. If we did that, Ryan, if we broke into my dad's house at 2 a.m. with fake guns and ski masks, one of us is getting shot, if not both of us. Well, then imagine his surprise when it's his own son. When he finds out he just murdered his own... And the funniest man he's ever known. When he finds out he just murdered two of the funniest individuals (laughs) in the modern comedy sphere. Yeah. He's going to go, uh-oh. I'm in big trouble. Twitter's not going to be happy about this one. The Laugh Factory's going to be out of of acts for... The next few decades, honestly. <laughs> yeah, the next few decades <laughs> without us. Uh, we're keeping that place afloat. We are. We're, we're single-handedly keeping the Laugh Factory open these days with our stand-up sets. Is that and Jim with the puppet outside? Jim, there's a puppet outside the outside the podcast door. It's Whose arm is, does that belong to? That's a scrawny little arm. I think that's probably Justin. Justin? Is it Justin? Well, whoever's arm it belongs to, I mean, we might have to deduct some some pay. <laughs> Definitely have to deduct a little pay Distracting us during the podcast Whose arm is that? <laughs> Come clean right now Just say yeah. <laughs> Puppet shaking its head 
<laughs> there's a there's a there's a puppet outside the room that nobody can see except for us. It's it's a sandwich. It's a puppet of a sandwich with with eyeballs. It's not in his head. Yes. yes. But okay, does it belong to Layton? Here's what no. I'll do. Does it <laughs> okay? Does it belong to Jim? It's Jim. It's definitely Jim. That's Jim? the Jim's the, been holding the sandwich, the, the comedic puppet. timing of the responses. That's definitely a Jim. A Jim. A Jim. Puppet hold. Is yeah, that's Jim. That's Jim. Oh, did you see Jim? No, no. It's just the way it's shaking its head in denial. That's definitely Jim. How much? How much should we take off his paycheck this time then? For <laughs> goofing off. At least a third. Okay. That sound fair? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Luke. Put the picture of the puppet up uh, <laughs> so people know what we're looking at here. But it's who got- is that? Show yourself immediately now. I will no longer I, I lead to- the podcast on this on this track. No. Nope. Come back. Let's see the arm. That's it's not latent because there's no tattoos on the arm. Jim has tattoos. That's that's Justin's arm, I think. I think that's Justin's arm. <laughs> Who was it? It was Justin. Yeah, I knew it was Justin. <laughs> Damn it. That little rascal. That's the best word to describe Justin. I'm surprised you didn't pin it on Jim. Maybe it would have been too obvious. Well, you know what I said when we talked about docking Jim's pay? He started nodding up and down. <laughs> okay. So okay. I think that maybe, uh... I think that's the best word to describe Justin. A little rascal. A little rascal? He's a little rascal. He's a devious little rascal. He's devious. A, he's a devious little rascal. He's always <sighs> hitting those devious licks. What? Justin, he... Devious de- licks? He hits a devious lick in the trap. Runs off with six keys of loud. Classic Justin behavior. That's Justin, if I've ever heard of it. Yeah, Him. absolutely. Him, not it. He doesn't. Yes. He had a period where that was his pronouns, was just it. And we said, Justin, you're free to choose your pronouns, whatever you want, and we'll respect it. It was just a little tricky to get used to it because no one usually, you know. Goes by it is, it would usually be seen as like. Derogatory. A, well, derogatory, antagonistic, especially to those who've decided um, that. They uh, do not confine themselves within male or female or right. boy and girl, whatever. Which a lot of people, you know, choose to go by they, them. But Justin said, no, I'm going by it. And I, we said, Justin, is they, them still work? He said, no. Yeah. So, um, so you know, and, and we'll always respect someone's pronouns and their, their, their choices. You know, we'll, yeah. we'll, never, we'll never laugh at that or say, oh, and the, we're not going to respect that. But the but tickle it, monster it was, doesn't discriminate. The tickle especially. monster does not discriminate. So whether it's, you know, Justin... Or whoever, you know. Justin did say in his employee contract we could put one thing about the Tickle Monster in there. Which was interesting because the other day we mentioned that there being something in the Tickle Monster contract. And he he stood up, he put his head up and went, I would not sign that contract if there was anything about the Tickle Monster in there. But he just now, before we started this podcast, he's like, so, yeah, you could do that. But I'm glad he had, he had a change of heart. He probably had some days to think about it and said, well, you know, we had the lawyer hit him yeah. up about that and say, if you don't allow them to put this Tickle Monster clause in, you will not be working at Super Mega Productions Incorporated in 2023. So I think that um, maybe it was, uh, he, you know, kind of came to his senses on that. Good. I- I'm, I'm proud of him. I'm, prou- I'm proud I of him. I guess that's the best way to put it. It? It. Sorry, I'm proud of it. Yeah. Um, it, it being Justin as it well. It being Justin. Yeah. That's um, speaking of Justin and those boys, they are giggling quite loud out there, and it's yeah. derailing my train of thought when I'm well, trying to speak. I think I think they're uh, have a mm, 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 little bit of ch- uh, Chick-fil-A left over. Yeah. Um, I think that they're uh, still gallivanting around with the puppet, you know? Yeah, I can hear them. It, it's like the peanut gallery out there. But, but, see, it's I'm slurring my words. Maybe yeah. we have. Maybe, maybe it's us. Maybe we're thinking too negatively. We're being a little too self-conscious, and really they're just putting an ear to the wall, listening to this podcast, and remembering exactly why they work for this company. Maybe they're laughing at our jokes, and we're sitting here exactly. trying to pin the blame on our own failures on the podcast on somebody else, when really, I mean— I'm starting to see you and I more as as Ebenezer Scrooges because it's the holiday season and when we're recording this and and here we are we hear our employees having fun and laughing with each other and we just go we hear camaraderie. What is, what is that cheer? What what is that? What we don't want to hear that. It's distracting us. Be quiet. And you know I I don't want to turn this office into the house of Scrooge. No, I don't. I don't want to be up on the the Mount Crump Crump Crumpus Crumpet. Mount Crumpet, I think. Crumpet. What's Which a crump, is what's a what is a crumpet? A crumpet is a delicious uh, pastry. A, okay, you could get them in Seattle. Um. So the Grinch living on top of Mount Crumpet isn't all that no bad. 
No, I don't think so. It's a beautiful mountain. It has a little curve to it. I'm sure it's got great real estate value. Oh, especially. Uh, think of all the land that the Grinch had. In that the movie, view? at least, he has that, that garbage, just whatever fucking, the garbage dispensary, whatever. That goes all the way down the mountain into Whoville, and he uses it as a slide. So he's already got good public transportation. He can go up and down that thing whenever he pleases. Mm-hmm. He's um, got privacy. He's got a view. You oh, know, the best view in Whoville. Whoville. The, the best Whoville? view. Who, who's Whoville? Whoville. But yeah, you're right. He's not got, Sneedville. No, he's got public transit for free. Yes. As far as I'm concerned, uh, free trash disposal. Mm-hmm. That's another one. He's got so much. Land. How many acres do you think Mount Crumpet is? I I, I don't know. I'd I'd love to see a map of that, but like it's on, big. It's big. It's I mean, it's a whole mountain. He's also got a roommate who does most of the chores, who does everything that he asks him to do. So why is he so goddamn grumpy? He's kind of got it made. He's got great property value. He's got a great view. Free free public transit. He's got all the land he can ever dream of. You know, like, whatever he wants to do, he has the land for it. He's probably got a decent-sized cock. Yeah. Like, think about, the, look at the Grinch and how he walks and, like, Grinch energy. Definitely, he's he's got a hog. He's, yeah. he's, he's packing a hog for sure. He's probably got to tape it under the fur. 100%, because that thing is definitely hanging out the fur. Yeah, and it's probably got a little extra fur at the end, you know, like how his fingers do? Yep. Cock's definitely got that, but I'm sure he probably shaves it up nice and clean. Because in the movie, the Grinch is just kind of like a, he's just a deformed who, right? Mm-hmm. He was brought down in a little in one of those little baby carriages with the umbrellas or whatever the fuck. You mm-hmm. know, he glided down, showed up on two old ladies' uh, door, doorstep, and they finally had a child. Um, I don't want to spoil the movie too much, but I, I we're just trying. What was that? It sounded so, like a gunshot. It sounded, yeah, it sounded like a gunshot outside. Well, I'll just, just let this rest on my lap. Make sure um, that make sure that's 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 locked and loaded. It is. Okay, it's buddy? the safety is off good. and my finger is on the trigger. Good, 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 good. Just in case we have any intruders. Uh but yeah, the Grinch, I'm sure he is packing quite the hog. Um do you think he's got a fun, whimsical little name for it? You know, Dr. Seuss loved giving every little thing in Whoville a funny name. Oh, so true. I'm I'm sure that, you know, he the Grinch his his phallus would have a funny little funny little name. A little uh little little Grinch dink donk or <laughs> Uh, and his Grinch dink donk, dink donk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The coin. Dink dank. Dink doink. Dink doink. Well, I'm a big crypto investor, Ryan. So, I'm glad you remembered it. Yeah, Logan no, Paul's I know. A crypto scam. Dink doink. Was, if you, it if, was a scam. Yes, it was a scam. Okay. okay. I would I would say that. I'd say a good eighty percent of of crypto coins are scams. Mm. But he's reformed now. He's reformed. Yeah. I mean, you saw Markiplier went on his podcast. Yes, and Markiplier was also promoting Dink Doink. Um, mm. it, guys, here's a here's a little word of advice. Uh, if you want to invest, uh, if an influencer is trying to get you to invest in something, that is a surefire way to know that it's a scam. Do not invest in something an influencer tells you to invest in, unless it's Dink Doink. Or, or one of these ad reads. Oh, or these ad reads, yes, but or super mega coin. But, but that's, that's for next year. Out, yes, yeah. 2023. Um, that one is not a scam. And you but guys. Let's just. Ads. We'll ads. Back. Yeah, we'll come back. A healthier life starts with a deeper understanding of your body from the inside out. Your body has its own voice. You just have to listen. Aura Ring is wearable technology, but lets you know what's happening on the inside and delivers personalized health insights to help you take positive steps forward in your health journey. The Aura Ring delivers accurate, personalized health insights, all from a comfortable-to-wear ring. During the day, their advanced sensor technology tracks heart rate, calories burned, and activity levels. And at night, it monitors body temperature trends, sleep quality, respiratory rate, and more. You receive personalized data in the Aura app, so you can work on building healthy habits and living your best life, you sweet little munchkin. The Aura Ring is easy to wear, water-resistant, and comes in two styles and five colors to match your aesthetic. One small ring can make a world of difference in your health. Ryan's stepdad, Jim, has an aura ring and he wears it every day. Not only is he able to monitor his heart rate and the calories burned, but at night when he's sleeping with Ryan's mom, he is able to see how good of quality sleep he really is getting. And ever since using it, he understands his body better and he's on a health journey and Ryan's mom is loving it. In fact, he's very excited because he told me that you got a matching one with him so that you can update each other on the health benefits that you get from it. I did, Ryan. I'm wearing it right now, and me and Jim constantly text each other uh, things, uh, our stats from the Aura app. It's great. 
So be like me and Jim. Visit AuraRing.com slash super to find the right ring for you. That's AuraRing.com slash super. Oh, fuck. What? Oh, kidding. Gotcha. Oh, you got me I made good. you the classic Matt and Ryan prank. I was looking at the prank. audio waves. I was like, oh, one does seem higher than the other, but. Classic uh, Matt and Ryan prank here. I know. Uh, where Maybe. one of us looks at the audio computer and goes, fuck, to make the other one think that it wasn't recording this whole time. Because all throughout super mega history, and I'm sure the history of a lot of YouTube channels, uh, shit sometimes, uh, whether it's space filling up on the computer or just forgetting to press the record button in general. Oh God! Uh, sometimes stuff is lost. Didn't we do like a fucking like three hour recording session where we beat a game and we just never pressed record? Was that the Game Grumps office? It wasn't the Game Grumps office. The, the point of uh, uh, that we would always get to is one of us would go to stop the recording, and since there's a window there, you could see like I could see you on the other side of the wall looking at the computer screen, and you would just look and just stand stand there just stone face and I'd be like that's not good that's not good at all nope and then you'd look at me a lot of those uh screw ups happened though when we were in the apartment oh uh, yeah when we were getting our footing for how to record stuff and um we were using our our at home computers and and back then if you remember like Elgato and all that stuff had a lot more issues than it has today like there were just so many little issues that would you know you'd like start recording go full screen play the game Exit out, look at the video, and it's just a black screen the whole yeah. time. I, I, I don't think there's that many issues these days with it. They've kind of streamlined it. But goddamn, back in 2016, when we would try to record stuff. Well, now we have uh, OBS uh, on both of the computers out there, which we did record. Um, oh, what was the one-off? Daddy something? Daddy daycare? Daddy, daddy's boy? <laughs> daddy's boy. Whatever the fuck Who's that, your daddy? Who's your daddy? That game. Um Definitely saw uh, in the comments and uh, Justin, we fixed the, by the way, the recording issue where it was clipping and like doing that stuff. It's because it was recording on stream mode, like in terms of like the defaults for stream. And stuff. Oh, it was, it so, wasn't optimized. Yes. So fix that. Um, didn't think to because, you know, it's one of those cases of you've, you've already done those steps in the programs on the other computers, but since we're just freshly downloading it, I guess we we're just, just goofballs. It. Yeah. Uh, but we got the two recording stuff. Then there were another comment, which I kind of agree with. I saw some of, which was the audio quality does seem like apartment super mega, uh, audio quality, but I don't, we use these. No, no. We use the shotgun mics. We use there. the shotguns, but part of the reason the quality sounds like that is because we're recording it in a room with no sound. Yes. Padding where, uh, for the last few years of super mega, uh, for the majority of the channel, actually, we've recorded either in the Game Grumps recording studio, which is super soundproof, professionally, or Same in our here. Let's Play studio, which is also professionally soundproof. So that room is not. So and it's got it's got concrete floors and and walls. But I do want the sound to be better in there. Well, I, I tasked Layton with getting a big carpet for the for the floor. Ooh, okay. That How's will that, that going? will that will damp a lot. I have no idea. It's been a couple months. Let, let's uh, hold up. I'm gonna call Layton in here. <sighs> Time he answers to both of us and the fans where this carpet is. About about damn time. And all of you, all of you fans can actually get a, a little sneak peek if you look in my sunglasses. You'll you'll actually be able to see the rest of the recording room. You always say, Oh, what does the rest of the of the podcast room look like? Well, oh, if you pause, you can get a little glimpse of it. A lot smaller than a lot of that's Everyone like always thinks this room is huge. And I guess on camera it does look pretty big because of wide angle lenses, but you come in here, this is a tiny ass room. This is maybe 10 foot by 10 foot. I'm not even kidding. Yes, boss? Uh, could you report to the podcast station? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming real quick. Okay, thank you. He has no idea. Nope. The hell. Hell the or high water he's about to be in. Well, hell hath no fury like Ryan's fury. Like yes. Rhino Hazard's fury. Like my, hell, hell hath no fury like Rhino Hazard's fury. <laughs> okay, buddy. Come here. You got to answer this. You got to answer to us and the fans. Yeah. People were complaining about how bad the audio was in um, the stuff we recorded out there. And, I, and, and, and Matt said that you were tasked with getting a carpet. And we don't know what color the carpet is. Or if the carpet's even coming. We have a black carpet. The shag is a little bit lower than this. Okay. I have it bookmarked. I was literally going to ask you guys today if I could buy it. I had no idea there was a weapon in here now. Well, we heard a sound outside earlier that sounded like a gunshot, so I just wanted to... There was there was a sound... 
there was a sound outside that sounded like a pat, like a gunshot. So I just, you know, the safety is off. Well, if if an intruder comes in, uh, I, you can't be fiddling with it. the safety. That's that. So wait, wait. It's like off the wagon, on the wagon type thing. When the safety's off, that's good. No, when the safety's off, that means it's it's ready to to fire. It's loaded. My finger's on the trigger. You don't listen, Layton. If an and intruder just, comes in, I just went blasting or whatever the fuck that. What is it? What is it? Frank Reynolds from Always Sunny. And, and, and I then I and I started blasting. Yeah, and then yeah. I started blasting. Well, if an intruder yeah. comes in, I want to be able to start blasting right away. But yeah, go ahead and order that carpet. That's perfect. We're glad, and, and I want you to apologize to the fans. Hey, everybody. Yeah, here. Careful of my pussy. Yeah. And Layton, no excuses this time, okay? Um. Take no. Take I'm, full. All right, I would like to directly speak to uh, all 993,000 current subscribers of the Superman. 994,000. Um, I messed up. I severely fucked up beyond big time. Say your name. Say your full name. My name is Leighton Stollard. And I fucked up. And I have fucked up. Okay. I, I wish I could take back what I've done. But I can't, and moving forward, progress is all I can really strive to do and prove to you fans, as well as both of my bosses, uh, guns in hand or not, that I can be the employee that I am supposed to be and should be and contractually obligated to be. Um, that's, that's, that, that's, that suffices. That's now, good. Now have a sip of pussy. I'll have a little bit of pussy. Right Where's there. your, okay. Have a little pussy. Seal the deal with some pussy. Bring back I, memories. I haven't licked a pussy since 2018. Yeah, you and I. 2017. I was about to get the right. same and give them a. So Who's you and I right. were on the same page. Who's all right? All right, thank you, thank you, Layton. Thank you, and I, and our fans appreciate right. it too. Keep keep the front door locked, by the way. Thank you for the forgiveness. Of course, that's that's all we ever strive to to give. See, Layton, you grow, we grow. Well, I got this around my neck. He's showing us a, a he has what is a, that? Mother Mary around his, it's Mother around Mary? his neck. Mother Mary? Showing there for the camera. Well, it's kind of out of focus. It's it's manual focus, so it's not gonna focus. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Oh, jeez. Now he's gonna be in a mood. Yeah. Well, we'll he thought it, he thought it was on autofocus and yeah. it was on manual focus and he embarrassed himself. Well, no one likes looking like a like a fucking Neanderthal. No, no. He could have just come back a little more, but I think that he had just, you know, already started and and you know we 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 might have made him feel like an idiot by saying no no it's it's not focused and and that might have just no one likes to feel that their intelligence is is uh that of a cliffside you know yeah like a rock like a a grain uh, of sand mouth breathing knuckle dragging limp lipped well they would actually know how to breathe so breathe so at least they have like some sort of you know that's true intelligence i'll 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 be as bare as it is. Um, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Again, uh, we will hopefully get that room sounding better because I do want to do that Sea of Thieves series. Sea of Thieves. We got a couple other games we want to play We're going to be there. the most watched Sea of Thieves channel in 2023, and that is our goal. That is our mission. Watch out, Sea of Thieves content creators. Mm-hmm. We're coming after your viewers. Hey, the big project? Fuck it. That's for 2024. 2023 yep. goals, Sea of Thieves uh, content creators of the year. I want to I want to go to the streamies next year. I want to be nominated for a streamie. I want to fucking Best finally... Best streamer. Yeah, content, content creators. creators. <laughs> We're going to uh, talk about all the tall tale lore in Sea of Thieves. Ooh, tall We're going to have a weekly podcast all about Sea of Thieves. We're going to get in PvP combat on Sea of Thieves. No, we're... We're gonna play it a little bit in 2023, hopefully. Because I, you've been promising you'd be you'd play with me for the last like two, three years. It's been out that long. It's been out since 2018. It's been out since 2018. Mm-hmm. When did you start? Uh, I started like a couple months after it came out, and then I didn't come back until sometime in 2019 because it was it was kind of boring. Really? Yeah, they didn't have a lot of. It was very bare bones at the time. But you've got the golden curse, right? Yeah, I do. Nice. Yeah, but now there's two new curses that are even harder to get than the golden curse. Yep. The ghost curse and the skeleton curse. I can yeah. get them. You have to get to level 100 allegiance in either the Athena's Guardians faction or the Reaper's Servants faction. <sighs> I know. It's it, How are you going to do that? You know, it took, it, took, it took Mixel 
like 130 something wins in a row, zero sinks to even get those curses. Who's Mitchell? Zero sinks. One of the best Sea of Thieves players ever known. Right behind Ryan McGee. Right behind Ryan McGee. If he honestly, I choose not to play whenever Mixel or Fuzzy Bon or Blurbs or anyone like that is streaming because I don't want to embarrass them uh, on their stream. Well, that's very noble of you. Yes, because uh, if you truly cared about the spotlight, you could, you know, I could wipe the floor. with You could those walk people. in the room and swab the poop deck with them. But I won't. It would. It would be a. Because they're known for like sinking a lot of people and being very smart and critical about the, uh, in their sailing. But uh, just compared to me, you know, even though they have, let's say, 10,000 plus hours in the game and I only have about 1,500, I just think the way I play the game is like no one's ever seen before. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm great. It's very noble of me to mention all of this, too. I just want to add that part in there. Absolutely. It is noble. It's humble. It's noble. And it's... I'm cool. And you have fun doing it. Yep. And I uh, am really fun. Okay. <laughs> I uh, was re-watching our, uh, our Hot Ones episode, and the part where you start talking about Sea of Thieves, it goes on for a bit, and... and uh, I have no clue what you're talking about there, so I just tried to look like a supportive husband that whole time, with my, my hands on your shoulders and like a smile, <laughs> yep. just nodding in agreement with what you were saying. But come the new year, I would like to... We gotta play Sea of Thieves on the channel, as I said. We're you gotta gonna, teach me the ropes. We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna be the biggest Sea of Thieves content creator. Super Mag is gonna be the biggest Sea of Thieves content creators of 2020. We're gonna put that game on the map in... in <laughs> I want you to teach me the ropes. Yeah. And the cannons. Yes. And uh, uh, you will have to mess with some ropes, some cannons. Ooh, maybe the anchor. <laughs> Ooh. Yep. I would love to play. Can I have anchor duty? Sure. Hell yeah. Not, not much to do except, you know, raise it. and. That's a task in of itself. Yeah. If there wasn't someone on board a ship that wasn't in charge of the anchor, what the hell would be the point? Ships would just go, woo, 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 you know, all over the place. We got to play with, uh, you know, Kelly loves it. Justin loves it. Um, nobody else. I, Jim has played a little bit. Leighton played a little bit as well. Leighton barely got through the maiden voyage. Oh, so. <laughs> the maiden voyage. What's okay. uh, well, I don't think Leighton will get through many maiden voyages, you know what I'm saying? Let's just say, uh, he couldn't find the X, uh, the spot on a map if it slapped him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I would love there to be, like, in another universe, Actual like Sea of Thieves content creators where it's like this podcast where they have like a logo and everything and they one of them just laughs like that <laughs> and, they just, and they just take down everyone else. Like, yeah, that couldn't be me double gunning. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, they took quick quick switching out. You fucking sweats, <laughs> pussies. Oh man, no, you can choose whatever weapon you. I don't. I don't care. I don't. I, don't, I actually don't have a. A preference. I switch around weapons. I'll, pl I'll play with whatever weapon feels right for old Matthew. Sword, flintlock, blunderbuss, and ooh, uh, like eye of reach, locks. which is just a sniper rifle. I like ooh, eye of reach. Mm -hmm. I like the I like these pirate terms. See, it's a sniper, but it's like the eye of reach. Yep. You it's know, a, it reaches. An it's eye. an eye that reaches. Yep. It's a sniper. Yes, it is. Any like uh, AR fifteens or no? Those are the only weapons in the game besides your cannons and then throwables, which is like a Molotov cocktail, and then a blunder bomb, which is like a a grenade. Kind of, but not really. Now, does the game support the blockchain? Does it have <laughs> blockchain integration? Yeah. Oh, NFTs? Yeah. That's the new thing. You can actually buy NFTs for your, for your like, sales and everything. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> so I can have a board ape on my ship? Dude, if... They don't actually have, like, blockchain no, integration. No, no, okay. no, no, no. <laughs> Good. <laughs> it's a T-rated game. And I think if they incorporated blockchain, not to say that that would change the rating, but I will... I wonder if it would because gam if, if gambling is put in a game, for example, makes the game like rated M or something. Now, crypto has nothing to do with gambling, Ryan. <laughs> okay. You know that. It's different. It's, it's very different. It's just the smart it's the smart man's way to Ryan, make money. It's like unregulated gambling. <laughs> okay. So it's it's all free and fair. Sounds even better. It is. It's uh <clears throat> that means even children can do it. Ooh. Ever heard of uh Dink Doink? It's my favorite coin. Dink Doink Yeah. I did. Did they make a song? Mm -hmm. They uh, got like an animator to rip off the South Park art style and then sang uh, about Dink Doink. Yeah, crypt, uh, if, if influencers ever promoting crypto, it's a scam. Don't do it. Yeah. Unless it's Keemstar. Keemstar. 
has he's, never promoted a non-scam crypto. He has a 100% satisfaction guaranteed with whatever he's peddling. I mean, he, uh, selling or uh, putting off. Promoting. Promoting, uh, yes. He actually has a, an A-plus with the uh, Better Business Bureau. Mm -hmm. So Keemstar is actually uh, amongst the top rated businesses by the Better Business Bureau How is in Keem America. Doing? So Keem is doing great. I just got off the phone with him right before this podcast. I just want to check out his uh, most recent tweet. I just want to read it. It just seems like a fun little thing. <laughs> Every episode. What's what's the new Keemstar tweet of the day? The last tweet was uh, 20 hours ago, believe it or not. Okay. Uh, it says, Chris just egoed Edwin. I don't know who the, who the... But below that is, Chris just kicked a cat on the way in the bar. And it's a picture of some guys. Do you know who Chris or Edwin are? No, I'm guessing that Keemstar went to the Game Awards last night. And probably went out drinking with some buddies afterwards. Wait, the Keemstar show? Oh, yeah, he has the Keemstar a... show with Keemstar. Wait, the Keemstar show with Keemstar? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he has a he has a, a podcast or something. It's like the sixth it's podcast. Like a he's podcast done. or a live streamers. The Keemstar show. That's uh, the newest in late night talk shows. <laughs> it's on uh, NBC every night at uh, at 10 p.m. Eastern. It's the Keemstar show. He'd be a great talk show host, wouldn't he? <laughs> ah, Daniel Keem. Can't get enough of him. <laughs> Can't get enough of that Daniel Sorry. King guy. Whenever, whenever Jim walks past, it is the most. It looks like, insi in, insidious. Insidious? Is that the insidious? Insidious? His shoulders are hunched over. Yeah, when he walks by, it's like he like side glances. It's like he doesn't want to like distract us, but he walks by like he's committing some sort of like crime. And you know, like when a dog, uh, when you come home and the and the you see the dog and the dog has clearly done something, just, and the dog just looks guilty. Yeah. That's how Jim looks when he walks by the podcast store. He just kind of like hunches and just. I feel like it makes that sound mentally in my head. It's like, yeah, and it scares me. And I'm like, well, what is what has Jim been up to? What is what has Jim gotten what, himself what into? What has this? Jim been up to? What has Jim been up to? He introduced me to a new game. Vampire something. I can't remember. Vampire, Vampire Slayers. Suck. That's a great movie. Vampire suck. Oh yeah, I saw it in theaters with my girlfriend at the time. Did you kiss while you watched it? I doubt it. We were the movie was too epic. It kept it kept bringing bringing the punches. Yes, <clears throat> there was no time for, for kissing girls on the lips during that one. I did make out during the Blind Side though. <laughs> <laughs> Which part? The in car a, crash in a packed theater. You so you made out with someone because I hadn't because we hadn't even we hadn't like made out. We were we, this is you know we're both like high schoolers. And that movie is a bit of an aphrodisiac. The mm. Blind Side. <laughs> oh it's, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, it can get you a little horny. Oh yeah, baby. yeah. I've watched that movie and gotten a little horny myself. <laughs> what uh, part? Well, there's several parts that make me horny. Specific? Well, uh, just tell me one. Uh, of them. Well, the part where he walks in and starts crying because he says he's never had a bed before. Just the mention of a bed gets me horny. <laughs> oh so, yeah. yeah. The car crash part. Classic bros. The car crash part gets me horny, not sexually, but it's like the the adrenaline rush, you know. Leads to horniness, so. Matt, we were talking about Sea of Thieves, which is a video game, am I right? Okay. The blindside video game's coming out finally? <laughs> no, no. Ev this this topic is, people are talking about it. Uh, at the Game Awards, see how, see, see if these is a video game, now we're talking about the Game Awards. Great segue. Um, at the Game Awards, some, some nincompoop got on stage. <sighs> yeah, he did. And he got up and said, uh, I dedicate this, uh, this was after, uh, so, set the stage, literally, ha, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, at the Game Awards, uh, Elden Ring won Game of the Year, and so, uh, Hideo Miyazaki, I think is his name, and some other, uh, people who were in charge of the direction and just the game in general, uh, come up to accept the award, and standing behind them, who follow, I guess this kid followed him on, he followed up on up, stage, yeah. standing behind them was, uh, a kid. People say he was dressed in Yeezys. I didn't get a. I I didn't get a chance. To look I believe at he was shoes. wearing Yeezys. Yeah. But uh, he was just standing, kind of back then. And then after the acceptance speech, he walks up to the mic at the very end of the award show and uh, says, "I would like to dedicate this award to my reformed rabbi, Orthodox, Orthodox rabbi. Uh, yeah, or, uh, my reformed Orthodox rabbi, Bill Clinton." And then that 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 was the last thing said on that particular mic until Jeff Keeley went, "All right." Or whatever he did. He was like, okay. You know, Jeff Keighley was steaming mad. I saw people online saying that it was like a dog whistle. <clears throat> I don't know any, I don't know too much about 4chan to, to 
affirm that? I don't know enough about either. I, I what people were saying was he's wearing Yeezys. He brings up Judaism and Bill Clinton. Yeah. So they're saying, oh well, it's got to be a, uh, it's got to be some kind of alt right dog whistle. I'm not sure. Um, Maybe he's just a goof on stage. Who knows? Could just be goofing. He was taken into custody. He was. Jeff Keeley made sure to tweet that. Jeff out. Keeley performed a citizen's arrest on that. Kid. <laughs> he has been arrested. You know, someone got in a lot of trouble last night for, for security. They should have. That's for, actually ridiculous. That's a big threat. You know, just someone just walking up on stage during the game of the year and just standing there behind all of them. A part of me feels like, of course, they didn't take him down from the stage because I'm sure, like, the security or whoever was in charge was like, who is that? They're like, I don't know. Is he, like, and it was like, is he a son of someone up on that stage or something? It's like, we don't want to take someone's son down. Like, that would create an awkward Well, I'm kind sure of that the... That Miyazaki and all those guys were probably just like, who is this? Oh, yeah. Standing with us right now. And so they're like, okay, we're just going to accept it. Maybe they thought that it was just like an attendant of the... See, there's a lot of like things that probably could have gone on through people's head to allow this to happen. I, I, I make this sound like it's 9-11. If I, if I, if, <laughs> there's a lot of things. There's a lot of small little things that created a butterfly effect that allowed this catastrophe to happen. America deserved the Game Awards <laughs> 2022. Dude, if I... Honestly, what funnier for me... Personally, like if I were him, I wouldn't have said anything. I would have just gone up there and stood with them and then gone back down. Just so I was just <laughs> yeah. up there with them. And everyone's like, why? Was what? <laughs> but no, he 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 got to say something. The th the thing that clued my because I was watching it live, believe it or not. Uh and I took a nap and I awoke and saw that, which is the same thing that happened during the uh, Oscars, was I took a nap and I awoke and saw on Twitter that Will Will Smith had punched slapped, Chris Rock punched Chris Rock square in the jaw. <laughs> Uh, but it seems like every time I, it seems like every time I take a nap when there's an award show happening, that's, that's when something happens. <laughs> God knows. So, next time there's an award show, make sure I take a nap so something fun happens. Okay. Yeah. The next Game Awards. Well, E3's coming up in about half, e six months or so, I'm sure. They don't even do E3 anymore. Well, they do the presentations. Yeah. They but do, it, it's, it seems to be award thing, shows. Well, didn't, um, <clears throat> Jeff Keighley replaced E3 with something, didn't he? The Jeff Keighley Show. I'm about to call Jim and he... Nope. Why? I don't know if we legally can have Jim on the podcast yet. I think his... The suits need to be settled. Yes, and they do. We'll get him... That's a good... I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. I don't think he's allowed to be on camera. I don't even think he's allowed to be working right now. N I don't think he is working right now. I think he's just coming here to hang out, and he's not getting any work done. Well... In terms of house arrest, he shouldn't even be here. So either his thing is malfunctioning or he's found a loophole. You can't dip him in, like, water anymore to no. make it. Because it would send off a Yeah, warning. it sets off a signal. That's his problem, That's his, it, it, Yeah. It's not our responsibility as his employer to keep track of his Well, I, I, tr I truly was hoping that him being on house arrest would be, you know, we get a little breather at the office. We don't have to see him for a while, but he's still showing up every day. At least he's dedicated, I guess. You know? I guess. But I don't know. After some of the stuff that came out in those those lawsuits, I don't know if I really want him at the office. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm kind of scared of him, to be honest. Let, we could actually, let's just run some ads. Let's go have a talk with Jim. We'll be, we'll come back and let's okay. just go get some stuff settled. Yeah. Works for me. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, ladies and gents and, uh, people of all different ethnicities, um, colors. Creeds. Because colors and ethnicities aren't, you know, necessarily linked. No, not necessarily. All the time. Um, and, uh, and politi- no, I don't- mm. Certain political ideologies are welcome. Just, uh, others not so much, I think. What do you have against the Green Party, man? Nothing. I just think it's a waste of a vote. <clears throat> but and any independent party is a waste of a vote. For me, any vote that's not for the Republican Party is a waste of a vote, <laughs> right? That's right. We knucked it. I hope Luke still puts you the sound the effect pussy? in. No, there's a little bit of pussy left if you'd like some. Okay. Mm. You love that taste of pussy. It's I mean, good. Well, I'm not sure I'd, I, I, I'm not a, I'm not the biggest fan of the pussy. The energy drink pussy. Why did they name it this, man? Because there's nothing funny about it. Like if you, if you, it's from the Netherlands. Probably exactly why we 
did the oh why we did the Jim what? has two cans of pussy. Why are there so many half empty cans of pussy? Who's not been drinking their pussy? This is the only pussy I've ever opened. That's oh. probably from the episode with Zach. Where we, where, I think we all We all had some pussy. pussy, and it probably ended up out there. Nobody finished their pussy. I drank all of my pussy. I drank my pussy. How do you know which one's mine? I finished mine. <sighs> That's not true. I think true. Zach's would be, he, he, Zach, Zach barely tasted his pussy. Did he like it? No, he didn't like pussy. I'm not like sure pussy. he enjoyed the taste of pussy that much. I, look, Jim, I'm drinking pussy right now. I'm almost done with it. I'm almost a lot of pussy. I'm drinking all my pussy, and I'm gonna grow up. I'm gonna grow up big and strong because I'm drinking all my pussy. Okay. Growing up big and strong. Okay. That's what they told me when I was a kid. They say, uh, "Drink your pussy, and you can grow up big and tall." Look at me. You are. I'm six six. You're big just from drinking pussy. You're tall. How do you think Luke got so tall? And you're a pussy magnet. I'm a pussy fiend. I'm a pussy hound. <laughs> you can't get enough of that pussy. Can't get enough pussy. It's honestly one of the worst tasting drinks I've ever had. The and it's Displeasure an energy of tasting, drink. yeah. It's a. Uh, it does have that energy drink, you know, aftertaste. A sparkling but. passion fruit and lychee flavored energy drink, and it's uh, ninety eight calories. Uh, so if you're trying to watch your weight, hey, a little pussy never hurt anybody. It's a. Uh, it's got two nutrition facts boxes on it. Why does it have two? Maybe just because of uh, one of them is in a metric. That's dumb. The metric system is is for chumps. Metric system is for losers. If you use the metric system, it's an inferior system of measurement. Uh, imperial is the way to go. It's what America uses. It's what Liberia uses, so, and it's what Myanmar uses. So, do you use Celsius or Fahrenheit? Fahrenheit. Good. Good. If you use Celsius, you're a little pussy boy. Yep. And I'm not talking this type of pussy. No. I'm the talking bad type the bad of type of pussy. Which is, I guess, synonymous with like wimp. Wimp. It is a. Honestly, shocking to me that America never converted to the metric system when every other country in the world uses it. Stubborn. Stubbornness. We're never going to convert to the metric system. No, not at this point. No. Well, when I guess I, I guess I shouldn't be oh. so I guess I shouldn't be shocked because of, you know. I'm sorry to sorry to interrupt you guys. Uh Ryan, it's your medication time. Oh, oh, did you not take Thank your medic you. your medicine, Ryan? No, I I, I forgot to take medication this morning. Yeah, you, Thank you, nurse. You're gonna, you're gonna really want to hit that right now. Oh, thank you. That could have been Shit. bad. If we hadn't finished the podcast and Ryan had had his medicine, that would have been bad. He's gonna turn into a goober if he doesn't have. Yeah, his he turns into a goober without his medicine. That's for He's, sure. I gotta, I gotta lean. I gotta. Don't want to get us in trouble here. Yeah. Um, now is this the right medication? This is a thirty-seven uh, percent gelato. Okay, it's gelato. Just making sure, like, it's not poison or anything. Hey, a nurse can taste should. the medicine sometimes. That's. You're gonna have to take two more of those. Okay. Got a good fruity flavor. Hey, is there enough medicine to share? Do you want some? I mean, is, he, oh, is it look, safe, look, nurse? Look, 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 we don't have look, to tell look, the doctor. Look, hey. look, look, here's me as a nurse. Turn hey. my head. I'm turning my head. What the doctor don't know, don't hurt him. Hey. <laughs> tell me this doesn't have, you, We've seen shows. Nurses <laughs> raise the med closet all the time. Oh, very, that's fruity. Very fruity. What's what's way, what's that fruit? That tastes good. <laughs> right? That tastes some of like the, Clorox. some of the best tasting weed I've had. That's some of the best tasting medicine I've ever had. Yeah, medicine. Yes. My, uh, medicinal legal medication. Medicine. Yes. That was you're you're good. saying it as if it's it's anything else than medication. No, as a nurse, I'm saying it completely <clears throat> correct. Hey, don't be a basketball player and take that to Russia. Hey. Hey. That's true. She's free now. Well, she shouldn't have, that was her fault. She shouldn't have done that. So was a terrorist. That's true. So. We traded a terrorist for a basketball <laughs> player who had some THC oil. Oh, oh sure. We don't Ooh. have a proper ashtray, so I did. You think that's enough? I only had one taste of medicine, and I think that should be good for me. Okay, no more? But you guys know me. I'm a little pussy baby when it okay. comes to medicine. Hey, you let me know how you're feeling about five minutes. Push the button if you need me. Okay. You got jello on the way. Yes. Pork cutlets tonight. Ooh. What's your tonight. favorite? <sighs> Duh, I didn't know I was having pork cutlets tonight. <laughs> yeah, that's your favorite. Okay. I saw your eyes light up. <laughs> let me need, uh... Let me know if you need help chewing some of that stuff. Okay. Because it is tough to get down. Some pork cutlets, it's it's a chewy meat, you know. I like chewy. But yeah, we got uh, Brittany Griner back from Russia. <coughs> <coughs> Woo! Yeehaw! That's right. I don't know. It was a terrorist. I, don't, I didn't even know who that was. <laughs> do, you, do you not keep up with women's basketball, Ryan? I did when I was younger, and Jim would take me to the... Uh, what's the... You're telling me your stepdad watched women's basketball? 
Well, the games were cheaper to go to. So economically it was just it was just a better decision to go to the women's basketball games. And I'm and I know the gym never made a single snide remark about that. Hey, sorry, I'm not trying to interrupt. I just want to remind there's a couple guys in suits. A couple couple guys in suits? They're, they're in suits up. You guys can finish the podcast. It's just they, they look pretty upset about something. Oh. Uh, um that wouldn't be the Armenian power guys, would it? <laughs> no. Do you want me to just stall? Do you want me to stall them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just stall them for a little bit. Yeah, I, was doing, I was doing some, like... Oh, do they have-, uh, have, they, have they seen... Have they seen... Uh, oh, what is that YouTube video that you kept showing me the other day? I was laughing my ass off. Uh, the, the mustard one, where they're pouring mustard on the dude. Oh, we the, used it in the, the past the super mega game? one. Yes, show, show that to them. Yeah, okay. That'll stall us for how, how long, you think? I'll put it on loop. How okay. many are there? How many are there? Yeah. Three SUVs. Three SUVs. So probably like 10? 10. 10? Do any of them have tattoos? 10. Do they have tattoos? Yeah. yeah, do they have tattoos at all? One didn't have a tattoo on his head. On his head. Did it say... Yakuza on it? Did it say AP? <laughs> did it say AP? AP. I, I mean, I didn't get a good look at it. He was kind of moving around a lot. See, I was, I was doing magic tricks to try to keep him busy. Yeah, uh... Keep, really okay, keep, keep, keep doing that, because we got to finish the podcast, yeah, we'll, but... We're almost done, I'll but... I'll video on loop that... Pro- uh, Take like seven or eight minutes. Seven or eight minutes. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll finish it by then. I'll I'll be right out. Just tell him I'll be right out. Tell him I'm taking a, a tinkle okay. or something. They look mad. Okay. They don't want me, right? No. I don't think. Just Ryan. I think. I mean, Justin, trust me. They just want me. <sighs> something to do with like a gold purse or something. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna. I told you about playing Sea of Thieves with the Armenian power guys. They have carried me my way to victory no, in Arena. I told you I what to would happen if you fucked that up. When you're indebted to someone like that, that debt doesn't go away. They're just, have you, they're like as good as NAL crew, dude. They may not have this. I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that the guys are good at Sea of Thieves, but these are not guys you want to be doing business with. You put a blunderbuss and an eye of reach in their hand. <sighs> Deadly. Not to mention, they're boarding. They don't. They don't even touch the water. Seriously? Yeah. They launch out of the cannons and land right on your ladder. Really? Silent. Oh, they're yeah. that good. Oh yeah. So I mean, I needed to get certain cosmetics by a time frame. It's a cosmetics-based game, so like you know, you don't. You're nothing but cosmetics. I don't blame you. Okay. I probably would in your situation. I probably would have done the same thing. And I can't, I can't speak on that because I wasn't in your situation. But if I needed those cosmetics, I might reach out to shady groups. But, um, yeah, I think time's kind of running on that one. And I do need to talk to them. But uh, They're if, watching. I hear them laughing. They're watching the mustard video. It's working. Okay. Okay, okay good. Um, unfortunately, that means I won't be able to make it to the uh, after hours segment. But luckily, um, we... We have a special presentation. Okay, okay. We have a, we have a special presentation uh, for the after hours that you can get on Patreon. Uh, Patreon, you can also get uh, behind the scenes and Q and A's, as well as uh, Max Max <laughs> Max's mixtapes. <laughs> yeah, Max's mixtapes. Uh... <laughs> That's because I mixed up Matt with mixtapes. You know how I slur my words together. Yeah, you slur your words. A little bit. <laughs> Anyway, uh, if you go to our Patreon right now, uh, there will be a very special presentation uh, that will be in place of the after hours uh, with me, with another associate, um, on a great investment uh, opportunity for you guys. Uh, and you can only see that if you subscribe to the Patreon. Or and you don't, you don't want to miss Patreon. this one. This is a good presentation. Okay. And you will learn a lot. But I guess I do need to um, get out there. Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Hey, good luck, man. Let me know. Yeah. If, let me know if you uh, need backup. All right. Not that I'd be much help with those guys, but. Hey, just uh, just you know, do what you do best, baby. Right. Hey, I'll be sitting here with the blicky on my lap. Okay. I love you. Love you too. All right, guys. Well, that's all for this week's episode of Super Mega Cast. Uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you for tuning in. Love you very much. <laughs> bye bye. Luke, end it. Luke, did you end it? Luke? Are you there? Luke, end it.
Luke, end, end the podcast, please. <laughs> Matt and Ryan, that was not funny. But I love Super Mega. <laughs>